So guys, before we get into this episode, I want to update to you on some pretty cool stuff that's going on behind the scenes with career mode. There are some fixes on the way. I'm so excited. It's about time. So as you know, career mode is pretty broken right now. We've got multiple glitches, one of them, quite frankly, game breaking, which is the overall glitch where players just randomly go down. I mean, if you really think about what career mode is, it's about taking over a club growing stars, you know, taking your players from the bottom to the top. And you can't really do that right now. It's completely broken. That is a known issue. We knew that before Christmas. We knew they knew, knew about it. But I can confirm, having spoke to a couple of guys at EA, um, they are aware that it's going to have to be a patch and it will be coming soon, hopefully. They will update us when and if it actually happens. So that's the first bit of good news. The other thing is regarding, some people might not even know about this or don't really care, but in career mode in the past, you've been able to have multiple different saves. I think it was up to eight different saves, maybe even 12 at some point. However, with the release of FIFA 19, we quickly found out we could only have four save slots, which is of course ridiculous. I only have three save slots because I have to save the Arsenal career mode. In case I ever want to go back to it, I can't delete that. I, ju I just cannot delete a career mode that was such a big part of my FIFA 19 season on YouTube. You know, I can't. So I've only got three slots. It's really frustrating. So apparently, and I can't believe this because I heard something different when the game came out. But now, apparently, it's a bug. And it's a known bug but not an easy one to fix. But I thought I'd update you on that because from what I heard, it wasn't something that EA could change. It was out of their control and I, I can't really go into it, but the the new news is that it's a bug. So who knows, we might be able to go up to eight slots soon. Two bits of somewhat good news. We might be getting a patch soon on career mode and I'm hoping it's not just the overall glitch that gets fixed. There's multiple things in career mode that really need a patch. There's emails that come through with missing text, which isn't a big deal, but if you want a professional looking game mode, you can't have typos in there. And there's just so many other things that, that need fixing. Player pictures don't look right, they don't match the players. Youth Academy players often you know, look like they're from a completely different region to the region that you're scouting in. Just things like this, they need to adjust, but uh, hopefully we'll be getting a patch soon. Also guys, before we continue into the rest of the video, I wanted to show you OneFootball. They've kindly sponsored this video and it's an app I completely and utterly recommend everyone downloads on their phone, Android or iOS. If you want to download it, it's absolutely free. The link is in the description. It's everything you need football-wise in your pocket. I mean, what more could you want? You've got all the latest games, all the results, the, the fixtures that are coming soon. When you start up the app, it will ask you what team you support. And you can also pick a nation. So I went with Arsenal and England. And now I get all of the latest up-to-date information regarding Arsenal and England. So as I'm recording this, we do have the West Ham game tomorrow. You can look at transfers as well. You can look at transfers regarding your own team. So we're obviously... Heavily linked with a move away for Ramsey. We're also linked with Bonatia, Denis Suarez, um, Kadira. And what you can do as well is go to all teams and it will show you all the latest deals, confirmed or not. Everything you need to know about football is on the app. So please do download it. Check it out down below in the description if you want to. It's 100% free. I mean, why wouldn't you want to? Just follow your favorite team and keep up to date. One thing I asked you guys in the last episode was regarding... Uh, a player that we've lost, Dominguez, we unfortunately lost him because he had a release clause, it was paid, and I wasn't able to renegotiate a contract. So I asked you guys, what, what should I do about that? So if we go to received offers, he won't be there, will he? Uh, unfortunately, he's not going to be there anymore. So we lost him, and I can't actually remember who, who signed him, so we're going to look for him now. Um... Is it Andre Dominguez? It is. What are the odds of that? So it's Cagliari. They spent the 20, I think it was 27 and a half million. Um, as you can see, he has potential to be special. So, of course, I'm absolutely gutted by this. He's a player that I scouted, that I trained, that I worked on, and we lost him because of another glitch, a problem with career mode. How could I not renegotiate a contract when I hadn't done it for at least half a season. You know, as long as there's six months in between, that should reset the ability to make a negotiation, right, with the player. So 
I'm I'm not really sure if it's fair. You know, I I feel like I got hard done by there, and I'm gonna really miss him. So I asked you guys, should I somehow sign him back or should I replace him? And again, very similar to when I asked about the Ronaldo regen and whether I should sign him or not. A very mixed response. So I, I don't know what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is rely on maybe looking at Iniesta's regen and seeing what rating he is. If he is of similar quality, I think I'll sign him instead, the Iniesta regen. However, if he is nowhere near 78 rated and he's nowhere near as good then I think I'm just going to buy Dominguez back and I will use the cheat engine to make him approachable. So I will still have to buy him and negotiate, but uh, with the cheat engine, you can get rid of the, this player has recently joined and won't move again. You can actually bypass that. So let's find out if Iniesta's regen is any good. So what you want to do to find a regen is you want to pick the same position as the player that would have retired. You want to pick the same nation. So we're looking at Spain. And you want to go to the league that he retired in. So that would be the... Where is it? The Chinese league. I actually... Is it this one? I'm not sure. I need to just do it this way, I think. See yourself. Of course it is. So let's see. Um, that's him, isn't it? Oh, it might not be the Chinese league. Was it the Japanese league? I think it was the Japanese league, wasn't it? Yeah, it is. it's the other one. And there he is. I remember he actually has the name Iniesta in his name. That's hilarious. So it's the Jap... It, what was the team called? Was it... Oh, he, he plays for that team. That's so random. Normally they play for a different team within that same league. But it is Vissel Kobe or Kobe. I'm not sure you pronounce it. But that is a Japanese team and I, I got confused. I thought maybe it was in the Chinese league. Um, so we're going to go ahead and scout him because we are in the transfer window. But what we do know is he's got the name Iniesta in there. And he is an exciting prospect. So he's not going to have as high potential as Dominguez. But still, 20 years old, left-footed. Could still be a very decent player to bring in and replace Dominguez. But uh, we will have to wait and see what his rating is. But for now, until we get the scout report, we're going to continue with some of the games. We do have the Spanish Cup coming up. We've also got some training that we can do now. We still have Neto in there with three training drills, and look at that. He's now 87 rated. Wow, that has gone so quickly. Of course, he's going to go back down to 86. But uh, as I've explained recently, I think it is more of a visual glitch. I think he actually is still 87 rated. It just says he's 86, but it's still so annoying. It really is so frustrating. So uh, we do have a big game coming up against Atletico Madrid. We definitely want to play that one because, as you know, they are fighting at the top with us. So we're going to sim the game against Alaves. And I think it's probably time that we make a second team. I feel like if we don't have a second team for occasions like this where we have games so quickly, I'm not able to rotate as easily. So let's create a second team now. And I'll just quickly name it second team. That's the beauty of playing on PC. You've got your keyboard as well. So we go with Neves up top. Uh, we go with Oliveira on the left and... Ojeda on the right, I guess. But then again, how do we put... I'm not going to put Beret in because he's he's going to be in the first team a lot at the moment. I know he'll miss the next game because he's got a suspension. But he's going to be replacing Montenegro until he's back. So we'll go with those three as the front three. We're going to go with Avci, Renaud and Navas, I guess. Yep. Then right back, we're going to go Ojeda. Then we're going to go with Conceição, who's now 77 rated. He's gone up quite quick. We're going to go with Derson and Yalman or Kouassi. I think Yalman. Yeah, we're going to go with Yalman. And then in goal, of course, we're going to go with Baquero. Then on the bench, we're going to have Rodriguez. Uh, we're going to go with, instead of Linz, Abeledo. We haven't really got another winger, have we? So maybe we'll go with Jara. Can he play on the wings? I can't remember. No, he can't. But Rodriguez can, so that's that's good. We're then going to have Velazquez, and we're also going to have Navarro. And then defenders, we're going to have Kouassi, and we'll stick with Rivera. Why not? So that's going to be the second team. We'll save that, and then it will break, obviously. Or will it? My God, it hasn't broken. You know when you change your team and then you back out and it completely ruins it? It actually hasn't. So that's another bug they absolutely need to fix. Um, so we're going to use that second team now. 
and sim the Spanish Cup game. We're away from home. We could very easily lose this game, but we haven't. We've got ourselves a 2-0 win. Neves scoring two. That's really good. So that should be, well, I'm hoping, enough to go ahead and get through this uh, this group stage. No, not the group stage. I think we're in the quarters, are we not? Let's just double check what this was. Uh, it's the round of 16. I don't know why I said group stage. But now, of course, it's the big one. We are going to play against Atletico Madrid. They are two points behind us. So a win here will extend our lead to five points. But a loss here could mean, you know, some bad luck. And they're obviously going to overtake us. And from then on, I'll be really angry that I lost that game. So we're going to take... I think... No, we'll, we'll swap these guys around. Instead of Avci, we're going to go with Bure. I think that's going to be the team for this game. Renaud and Guerin in midfield. And yeah, do you know what? I'm happy with that. And let's let's see if we can beat Atletico Madrid. Let's check out their team then. So bored of having to do this. I like having the graphics and I can't show you them. Griezmann up top in Mobile as well. Martins on the right. They've gone with Lamar on the left. And they've got Saul and M Mandragora in midfield. Theo, uh, not Theo, Lucas Nandez. I always get those guys mixed up. Then we've got Jimenez, Mir, and Cannon. Mir, I, I don't know how you pronounce that guy's name. And Oblak in goal. So um, it's it's a good team. It really is. They are, as expected, playing the 4-4-2, which is, I think, if you can break through, very nice to play against. But sometimes, thank you very much, it's awful to try and break through them, and it's horrible to play against. Got the ball with Neto here straight away. Oh, look at the run being made. Linz could be in. Nope. It was a good tackle by Cannon. What a name that is. Going to play that back here to Guerin. Over here to Renaud. Inside here for Beret. And I just could not get it under control. Here is Linz now. Here's Neto. That's a really nice little touch inside. I'm not sure how that wasn't a foul. But okay. And now here come Atletico Madrid. Griezmann gives it away though. They haven't actually made a very good start. And let's see if we can get on the break again. Through for Roche. Lovely ball in front of, in front of him. We're going to go for a cross on the ground. It's always going to be cleared though. And no one's there. This is where I've got to be really careful. Because they're playing the 4-4-2. It means they go very wide. And they've got two strikers that they can pass into. And it can be very difficult to contain them. But we've done a really good job there. And now here's Linz. I'm going to run to the right. So Neto can run to the left. Roche will be there with the overlap. Here he is. I mean, I should probably just go for it, shouldn't I? Have a shot. Saved by Oblak. I'm not going to beat him from there, am I? Let's get the corner in, though. It's a good delivery by Lin. Cissé is there, but it's going to go out for another corner. Well defended in the end. I would not want to be battling Cissé in the air. It's another decent cross. Neto wins it. Oh! It's just gone wide of the post. Almost a great goal. What I've noticed is they, with this 4-4-2, they do have quite a lot of space behind the two centre mids because they both like to get forwards, especially Saul. So, like there, I've just literally split them open. And look at this, we're in. Can I finish it, though, with Barre? Yes, I can. That's a really nice finish. 1-0 up. And as I was saying, if you get behind the two centre mids against a 4-4-2... It's very, very difficult to recover for the, the defending team because they just don't have anyone in the way. It's just potentially four versus four every time. As it was there, you know, three versus two. What, what are they going to do? Easy finish as well from Barre right before half time as well. I think actually that probably will be the last attack. We're only playing two minutes of injury time. They might have an opportunity to get forward. Oh, OK, I've missed that. Here is Saul. Oh, no. Roche gets back. Does a good job defensively. And we're in at the break. 1-0 up. Oh, my God. How have I got through? No way. Is this really Atletico Madrid? Second in the league. You're telling me their defence is that bad? Did you guys just see what happened? I just stepped inside. Just, just, yep, don't mind me. Just going to step behind you here. This pass. How is that working? Good finish, though. Again, very good finish from Neto. How many goals has he got now? That's four in the league. Not the best return, considering how much we spent on him. But he's uh, he's done very well in the Champions League. We've scored a lot of goals with him there. Oh, no. Oh, my. Really? Okay. Griezmann. What is that celebration? That was an incredible header. I can't deny it. 
I thought I cleared it, but it deflected off a few players. Look at this, though. I mean, <laughs> if Castell was six foot ten, then maybe he could have saved that. Oh, they're going to get a cross in here. Okay, Rain has done really well, but it's going to be a corner. They've already scored one header. Hopefully, they won't score another. Actually, what I'm going to do is take take a player off, bring in some fresh legs. I think I might actually bring in Avchi instead of Linz. And I'm also, this is a little bit of a weird one, but I'm thinking I'm going to bring in Ojeda for Rivera, make a, a defensive change, more because I want his height in the box. So Ojeda's actually a pretty tall player. I think he's six foot two. So he can help us in the box to defend these. Castell punches it out, but it's going to fall for Gelson Martins. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Wait, what? Is that Ojeda? I just substituted you on and you're giving away a pen. Is this for real? Oh, come on. That is harsh. Okay, we've, we've got to defend this. Top right, come on. We've got to save this. No, I've gone the wrong way. And just like that, three points to one point. Let's see, though, if we've got any time left in this game to get another goal. I don't know, but Avchi, in fairness, when he's played recently, he's done really well for us. Maybe he can come up with the goods again. Oh my god, really? A simple pass like that and I can't I can't get it through one player. Well done, Reina. Right, okay. Let's let's try and keep it a bit longer this time. This is better. On the right for Roche. Avchi's in the middle. No way. No way, that pass was terrible! No, 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 no way. I cannot believe that pass. It had to be perfect, and then I would have scored and won the game. Okay, th this will be my last chance. Onto the right here for Roche. I'm going to have to cross it, and it's not going to go anywhere. Damn it, man. I can't believe that. I was, I was doing well. I really was. And then just two goals out of nothing, pretty much, and we dropped points. But thankfully, we're still going to be top of the league. Well, let's go ahead and sim the next leg against Alaves. We've already beaten them 2-0. So can we complete it and go through to the quarters? Yes, we can. 3-1 with the second team. Avchi scoring there. Oliveira and Conceição as well. So that's a good result. But we're still waiting on the scout report for the Iniesta regen. And we still haven't had that yet. At least I don't think I have. No, I, I don't remember seeing it. So we've got uh, Athletic Bill Bound now. So let's go back to the first team and simulate this game. Hopefully we pick up the three points after a disappointing result against Atletico Madrid. A 4-0 win. I think that counts as a positive result for sure. Two for Guerin, one for Roche and one for Neves. Now, is that enough time to get the scout report back? I think we're probably going to get it any day now. We've got the quarterfinals right away. That wasn't long, was it? So let's go ahead and sim that one. We've got a 2-0 loss. Blimey. But uh, let's see if we can beat Levante. This should be... Oh, there we go. We've got the scout report as well. Let's quickly sim this game here against Levante. Can we get ourselves another win here? 4-0 again. Roche, Avchi and Neves. We're not even missing Montenegro, it seems. But now, let's find out how good or how bad the Iniesta regen is. And, oh, okay. He is 81 rated. How has he not been signed up by another team yet? I, I don't know. Um, so he's six foot, left footed, high medium work rates, three star, three star. Could be a little bit better. Uh, he was four star, three star. So if we look at the summary, 69 athleticism, 81. 78 technical, 76, so he's better technical, or technically, uh, 81 shooting to 72 shooting. His passing, however, not as good as the Iniesta regen, and we can call him Iniesta, which is really cool. Defending, he's much better, well, not much better, but he is better, um, but mentally, Iniesta is better. So I think you're looking at two very, very similar players but I'm, I'm tempted to go with the Iniesta just because, again, fresh face, fresh, pl fresh player. And arguably, he becomes our new best backup centre mid. I think he's better than Navas, who has the low, low work rates. So I'm interested to see how much he's going to cost us. He's 24 million euros 
as his base value. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and see what we can do here. And um, if he is, let's say, 29 million or, or less, then we're just spending what we got for Dominguez. Oh, we can only just about afford him, though, guys. 160 million euros. <laughs> so let's offer a transfer fee. And I'm going to go in with 27 and a half. Just a nice kind of meet me midway figure. And let's see what they say. And straight away it gets accepted. So I've got a choice. Do I go with Dominguez? using the cheat engine and effectively cheat again, um, which I don't really want to do. Or do I go with Iniesta, have someone new, someone who's very similarly, similar ability-wise. He's, he's higher rated, but I don't think he's necessarily better, if that makes any sense. I think I'm going to go with Iniesta. Let's, let's get another new player into the team. You know, we've already broke the rule with Ronaldo. Why not go with Iniesta's regen as well? His wages are a little bit cheaper as well, which is interesting he's coming from the uh, the Japanese league so he only wants to be a rotation player but I think actually he gets into the team every now and again we'll go with five years just because he's so young and woo, he wants the release clause which we're gonna of course deny release clauses are stupid in this game it's cool when you're buying a player but it's totally not cool when you're getting offers for players that you own it's quite frustrating so he wants 26. Let's remove the appearances bonus. He's going to want 28, I'm guessing. No, he'll take the 26 with a, a small bonus. So there we go, guys. We have signed Iniesta's regen. And he's actually called Iniesta. What were the odds of that? And then we've got one last game of the transfer window. And uh, it is against Espanyol. They are right near the bottom. So again, although I'm sure it's not exciting at all, but I'm going to simulate it. There's no need to play this game. I mean, I would have been happier if we got the win, but at least we didn't get an injury. It's going to be a nil-nil draw. We've got Gocek back. Yes, he's back from injury. Got some money there. Suspension is over. Oh, I'm really happy we've got Gocek back. He gets back into the team, of course. Oh, look, another bug. Player picture is coming out of the box. Okay. How does that even happen? That, that wasn't in the game a couple of weeks ago. Why now? Doesn't make sense, but uh, that is the end of the transfer window. We've done really well to uh, get ourselves a new midfielder. We've replaced Dominguez, and Gocek is now back, which is obviously very good news. Let's have a look at the calendar. So we have got our next game in the Champions League very soon, and it's going to be the round of 16 tie against Bayern Munich. That's going to be interesting. And either side, actually, we've got four very tough league games. Athletic Club, Bilbao. We've then got Atletico Madrid again. Then we have Real Madrid and then Real Betis who have been doing really well. So February is going to be a very busy month. We'll play a lot of those games. So that's going to be good fun. We're four points clear. And um, wow, Griezmann is on fire right now up to 15 goals. Of course, Montenegro has been injured. So it's a little bit unfair. But we've got some catching up to do. Uh, that's going to round up this episode. As I finish, I just want to say uh, I wear this hat quite a lot in my videos. I've never been too happy with it. So um, I've looked into getting more hats. I, I want to go ahead and add hats to my new merch store, which you can find in the link below. You can also check out the pictures below this video. Um, so if you're interested in buying a shirt, a jumper or a hat, these are coming soon. It won't be the logo like this one. It's not going to have the border around it. Um, but if you're interested, you can go ahead and check out my merch store. And in the next couple of weeks, I'm hoping to have some hats available. And I should tell you, they're always going to be the best quality materials and I'm going to put them up for sale for as cheap as I can because I don't want this merch to be a money maker for me. I just wanted to bring merch back. I know I get a lot of people asking where I can get a shirt, where can I get a hat. It's coming back. So uh, do feel free to pick one up if you want to. I don't mind if you don't, but it's there if you want it. Thanks for watching this video and I will see you in the next one very soon.